Barbara gave us a word yesterday, and we appreciate in East Texas Barbara's efforts. She was there with a glow, and early on, uh, years ago, planted seeds there for Carthage and our region, and we are grateful for her, for her efforts there. But um, there's a passage in uh, John 1, 28 that says, And Jesus crossed Jordan, and he went into uh, Bethbara. And Bethbara means a house of passage, and I really believe this is a house of passage, Chuck that uh, to come in and our passage way back out into the assignments and into the things that God tells us to do. But uh, Barbara talked about the access, and this is a house of passage. It's our access out, and Jesus has already given us the access to go in, the go. And I keep hearing in my spirit, go ahead. Go ahead. There's something down inside of me that's telling me to go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. And one more thing here. Just a minute. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. When they crossed the Jordan, when they crossed the Jordan, they had a rite of passage. Hallelujah. And the next thing they faced was Jericho. And the warriors went out. The warriors had to be placed around Jericho. The priests had to be placed around Jericho. The intercessors had to be placed around. They had to march around silent until the seventh day. And on the seventh day, there was a shout. There was a sound that brought the wall down. Hallelujah. But it didn't just bring the wall down. It got one of destiny off of that wall and put her in to the lineage of the Lord Jesus Christ. It got Rahab, Rahab off of the wall and put her back in the lineage of Jesus. We are in that deep and serious situation right now. What you do makes a difference. Who you get off of the wall makes a difference because that DNA is waiting for someone to get off of the wall 